Hey, there is no intro for these videos because that would be a ripoff of every other mobile channel out there. Hi there, X-Strangers. It's uh, Saturday and I just walked out of a theater where I was supposed to go see Jack Ryan, but I walked into the wrong theater <laughs> and uh, re-watched Lone Survivor. Uh, the thing is that by the time I, I realized I was in the wrong theater, I then, uh, you know, uh, Jack Ryan already started and I was like, well, you know, screw it, I'm not gonna watch it from not the beginning, so I'll just come back tomorrow and uh, watch the whole thing. So, you know, that happened. Anyway, um, I was going to use this opportunity, since I just rewatched the movie, to say that there was one more thing that, that bothered me, me with the movie that I didn't say in my review, uh, that I, I really wanted to... I didn't know if I wanted to talk about it or not, because there's this something, there's a political side of it, which... You know, it is a war movie, and it does raise these questions, except this movie doesn't, which is kind of my problem. Um, okay, so the reason, so the thing is that uh, all the, the critics, before I saw it, I kept hearing, you know, uh, most intense war movie since, uh, uh, since uh, 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 Saving Private Ryan. But here's the difference. Now, Saving Private Ryan, besides being a fantastic film, absolutely terrifyingly real um it was also it it was also a it it did something that was totally different for me because while most war films will who went who cold went while most war films will um use uh the 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 the, the war film thing to um i want to stand somewhere else while most war films We'll uh, go touch on the controversies on war. Uh, war films about World War II kind of don't because World War II is somewhere where is a, is a war where you're kind of unanimously agreeing that the Nazis were bad. So you don't really have a kind of who do you side with because you always side with the not Nazis. Um, and that being said, Saving Private Ryan still sees the people on the other side as people. Now, they are the enemy, but they are not the villain, which is my problem with Lone Survivor. With Lone Survivor, the Taliban leader and his second, second in command are the villains. They aren't just the enemy, they are the villains. They are portrayed as the villains. They have this kind of uh, uh, Darth Vader music coming in, uh, Darth Vader music when they come in not not that cliche but but you know this music that is like these are the bad guys and they are and the cinematography about them is all these are the bad guys and basically they aren't put, they are portrayed as evil people now they, they might be really bad people they probably are very let's rephrase that they are probably very bad people that being said we are still watching this from an American point of view, and that's fine. And I see, and I'm okay with the idea of you know when you're telling a war story, then you pick a side. That's fine. But there's a difference between looking at the other side as the enemy and looking at the other side as villains. And uh, that was a point that I wish that the, I didn't need it to make it. I didn't need the movie to not to say. To, to say it outright, I just needed the movie not to portray the other side as villains, uh, only as the enemy. Um, and, and it bothers me. It kind of bothers me that, you know... But, hey... Uh, that's it. I just wanted to say that. That is, that is like a, a, a deep thought I had about war movies in general, and this one specifically. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day. Subscribe, 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 I'm cold.